Hey YouTube, I'm back again. This is uh, part two of today's uh, pickups and I think this is probably the first decent haul I've had in months. Um, I've also got a few things that I've uh, bought over the last few weeks um, which I'll just, as it's so close to the end of the month, um, I shall just uh, add them to this video. Um, there's also a parcel I've just picked up from the Amazon locker this afternoon. So uh, we'll rip that open and have a look in that as well. Um, so we'll get straight on with uh, what I've picked up today. Um, so when I got back to the car, I was actually over my parking. It was about 10 minutes or so over my parking, so I couldn't really record uh, in the car and then I uh, yeah, grabbed something to eat on the way home um, so <clears throat> it's a few hours later now and my voice for some reason is um, bad again uh, I don't know why I've been uh, taking my medication and it's uh, all of a sudden just in the last couple of hours it's uh, gotten really bad I haven't been coughing either which is weird. It's normally cause like this when I've had a uh, bad uh, uh, bouts of coughing. So I'm not sure. Anyway, regardless of that. Um, so my first stop, I suppose, was um, it was actually YMCA. But when I got there, um, there was a notice on the door saying they'll close for lunch. So I, I wandered around the corner and went to CEX. Uh, traded in my uh, trades and. I grabbed a couple of things while I was in there. Um, so, firstly, I got uh, Jackie Brown. I believe this is the last Tarantino, at least Tarantino directed movie that um, I didn't already have. So, uh, that's pretty much a complete collection now. So, I'm happy to finally pick this up. It's a long time since I've been it, seen this film. So, uh, I'll be uh, watching this again really soon because I do remember enjoying it quite a lot. I don't think it's uh, anybody's favourite uh, Tarantino movie, but it's still a lot of fun. Uh, then, even though I got rid of a bunch of Arrow titles today, I ended up with another one. This is Black Sunday. Um, it's uh, one of these white sleeve editions, as I call them, um, to go with all of those there. I think, and I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think there's only two of these left that I can think of off the top of my head at least that uh, I need to complete this set, hopefully. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is a three-disc set. comes with the booklet and there's a postcard in there as well. Two DVDs and one Blu-ray. So I'm very happy to finally grab that and then I moved on just around the corner to the second um, well actually I didn't I did some charity shops first but I got these from the second CEX um, so the first one first so this is a uh, network release of retro action this is volume one it just comes with a bunch of random episodes from 60s and 70s uh, British TV shows. So we've got The Persuaders, uh, Strange Report, Department S, um, The Champions, and Randall and Hopkirk Deceased. So, uh, yeah, that one was only £3. And then Volume 2. I do already have Volume 3. And then we've got a bunch more on here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that was, but I think it's Man in a Suitcase, uh, The Prisoner, uh, Danger Man, Gideon's Way, and The Saint. Um, I'm assuming that's um, Roger Moore, uh, his version of The Saint. I, mean, I wouldn't imagine it'd be Eno Gulf. It could be, I suppose. But we've got the sticker over his face there, so uh, maybe there's something on the back. No. So, yeah, that one was £8. Yeah, and then the, the one title I went specifically for, um, this is the 
101 Films release of uh, Johnny Mnemonic. Um, this was quite expensive, but still cheaper than 101 Films sell it on their website. This is part of the Black Label collection, and it is volume 25. I have volumes 1 to 22, minus, I think, volume 12 is the only one I'm missing. All in these limited edition sets. Um, which is phase phase four, um, which seems to have skyrocketed in price. Um, but this was actually sat on the shelf. Um, can get it all out. Just that uh, the smart cards here, but they actually weren't they weren't in here. I've put them in here, um, so it was literally just this case on the shelf, but with the with the sticker. Um, showing it's the limited edition version. I did actually see another one of these in HMV later on, um, which was just the standard edition, it wasn't the limited edition. So, uh, yeah, I didn't realise they'd already released the standard edition of this because I don't think it's showing on a 101 Films website as yet. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely edition. Like I said, the art cards are in there, they're sealed, and it is it's very similar to sort of the Arrow releases. Um, and then you've got the nice hard case, very uh, very colourful, and this um, sheet on the back. This was actually inside the box. I've, uh, I've stuck it on with a couple of clear white uh, stickers there. So yeah, I'm really happy to have uh, grabbed this. Um, again, this is another film I've not seen for quite some time, but I'm looking forward to uh, Revisiting this one, I think I'm fairly certain I saw this in the cinema um, back in 1992 or three, whenever it was, it came out. Um, yeah, so that took the CEX. Moving on to um, actually, this was the last stop, but this is next on the pile. So I went into uh, cash converters, um, had a look through the uh, uh the DVDs and the Blu-rays. I did. Uh, I did film a little bit of footage in there. All of that footage um, that I filmed today, um, although I haven't at this moment in time edited it all together as yet. It will. I'm thinking probably all be in part one um, of uh, of the pickups video. Um, but I found um, for fifty p um, Blu-ray of Rent. The live Broadway show. I'm not entirely sure where this is from. Um, I don't recognise the language. Um, of course, we've got a nice glare in there. Yes, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we got in the way of um, audio. That might be a, a clue, um, but it isn't giving me any clues at all. Um, Svenska for text, um, and Nordska. I'm assuming Svenska is Sweden. Nordska, I'm sure, is Norway. Danska is probably. Uh, Denmark, Finland, um, so it looks like it's probably a Scandinavian release, but it's region 3, it wouldn't matter if it was a Scandinavian release, because they are on region B as well, but yeah, 50p, um, um, so my camera randomly cut off there for some reason, so as I was about to say, um, yeah, this, I couldn't resist buying, um, it's a DVD set, two discs, uh, both Cheech and Chong, Up in Smoke and Still Smoking. Up in Smoke I've seen. I'm not 100% sure whether I've seen that one or not. Um, it was £2, so it's probably more than I would normally pay. But I did actually have a look on CX website and they sell this for £3.50. So I thought, what the heck, I'll grab it. Um, they're always, well I say always, the films of those that I've seen. 
uh, of theirs um, I've always enjoyed so yeah two quid then on to the charity shops in no particular order I think there's only actually two two different charity shops that I actually bought anything in I was, uh, I was quite surprised today actually the amount of charity shops that were open I think there was only two that were closed um, the majority were open um, sadly most didn't have much um, this these were from age UK um, the biggest score was in um, British Heart Foundation yeah but these two were from age UK the last time I was in there I got some similar blu-rays as well um, but these are uh, BBC earth videos videos blu-rays of um, Wild China 149 don't come across anything like this very often I wasn't sure at first whether these were UK released or not but they've got the uh, exempt from classification which is a, a UK classification in itself um, the E mark um, so that alone makes me think they probably are from the UK are they uh, 1080i because usually BBC blu-rays are 1080i um, doesn't actually say it's weird normally it does but anyway um, it's a two disker uh, much like the last ones that I bought as well I'll focus a bit there right, and then the other one uh, South Pacific, again, it's, a, uh, it's actually behind the label there, but it was 149. Um, there we go, BBC Earth. And um, where's the specs on this one? Yep, there we go, 1080i, 16 by 9. Did I just miss it on that one, or was it really not there? It really wasn't there. Um, yeah, I've always found that with with UK Blu-ray. You know, try again with UK Blu-rays uh, from the BBC. They're always, for the most part, uh, 1080i. Um, I have seen some US Blu-rays that are uh, from the BBC that are 1080p. Or at least that's what they say in the packaging. So I don't know why. Um, we would get one and other territories get another, but that's the way it is, I guess. Again, two disc set. Uh, and then these next lot all came from, uh, like I mentioned before, the British Heart Foundation. So the one and only DVD in this pile was a Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo goes Hollywood. Um, I've never even heard of this one before. Um, it's a US, it's a snapper case, it's a US release. Uh, region 1. Uh, it's not in the best condition. It looks like it's been somewhere humid. That's the, um, it doesn't look like it's actually been wet. But it's definitely picked up moisture of some kind. And, uh, and so the, the card... As you can see by the way the light's refracting off it, it's, it's, uh, it's gone out of shape. But yeah, I'm happy to add another, always happy to add another Scooby-Doo to the collection. Um, this one I thought I, I had, but when I scanned it into my app on the phone, that tells me I haven't got it. Um, now all my 3Ds are uh, in a pile upstairs. Um, and why is going to be close to the bottom of that pile so uh, I haven't actually checked as yet um, but uh, yeah it, it, the app says I don't have this um, if I do I'll probably end up either trading it in or I haven't actually check the, check the trade value but anyway it was one ninety nine. dollars Yogi Bear in 3D comes with this uh, shiny slipcover it's not uh, not in there 
the best condition, but uh, yeah, for one ninety nine, happy with that. Uh, and ironically, after what I traded in today, also for one ninety nine, I came across Black Widow on Blu-ray. So I traded in my four K for eight pounds and grabbed the Blu-ray for two. Just the way it goes sometimes. Um, they did have this in HMV um, with the with the slip, but it was nine ninety nine. At some point, I'll grab the slip if I don't find one on eBay on its own at a, at a reasonably cheap price. Um, I'll eventually get that one. It's on the two for twelve, and this trades in for two. So if I trade this in for two pounds, I won't have lost anything. Uh, this is the bargain of the day, I think. Um, Chernobyl, the series Blu-ray, obviously uh, for again one ninety nine. Very happy to found this. Absolutely. Love this program, it was fantastic. Um, I did have the steel book of this at one point on Blu ray, but uh, yeah, I sold that uh, a while back, so good to have that back again. Uh, and then in their uh, 50 peach or three for a pound, I grabbed a pile. Um, so the adjustment bureau, absolutely great film, really, really enjoy that. Another one I, I love. Uh, source code is coming with the uh, lenticular slip uh, film I've not managed to watch yet uh, Snoopy and Charlie Brown the Peanuts movie um, Repo Men um, another film I haven't seen for quite a few years but I do remember enjoying that one uh, Flight good movie again enjoyed that uh, I haven't seen any of these films um, and this, I think, is the, the middle one of the trilogy. Um, not that it is a trilogy, but it's the second film, Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason. Um, so that little lot there was £2. Uh, and then finally, in HMV, um, I picked up uh, a few things. Um, they had the bargain bucket. Um, there was a couple of things in there that I looked at, but uh, the one thing I picked up, a movie again I don't think I've seen since it was on TV back in well not on TV probably on Sky back in the early 90s um, or maybe the mid 90s Sundown Vampires in Retreat um, I don't remember Bruce Campbell being in it though um, so yeah I'm definitely looking forward to giving that a rewatch I do seem to remember enjoying it um, and I did end up getting the uh, Phase 4 a slip of Shang Chi, six ninety nine, um, works out only a pound more than it would have been in the, uh, the two for twelve. So uh, that um, fills that gap. So basically, I traded mine in for a fiver. So it's cost me an extra couple of quid to get the slip cover. I'm more than happy with that. Uh, and finally, get out. Um, another film I've never seen. Uh, £3.49 uh, is an iconic moment, iconic moments slip. So yeah, another one really uh, glad to add to the collection. They did have quite a few of these iconic moments uh, releases uh, in the bargain bucket. Um, Wolf of Wall Street I was quite uh, tempted with, but they also had Interstellar. I can't remember whether I've got that one or not. Um, and there's a couple of others as well. Um, Gravity, but no, I do have that one. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm sure there's a couple of others. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, today's pickup. So quite a decent haul. Um, I guess there's also the uh, the couple that I grabbed from um, from Salvation Army. Uh, that I did show in the last video. So I'll quickly go through these again. Um, so Motown 25, Yesterday, Today, Forever, uh, which was 50p, this VHS. Um, hasn't been rewound. Um, but it looks like it's quite an old VHS. It's a very heavy cassette, which usually signifies it's an older tape or or a rental tape, um, or an old rental tape maybe, um, but yeah, 
happy to have found that and then I showed this off earlier on as well in the in the previous video this is a, a, U, a US release I believe the ultimate uh, diehard collection um, I'm assuming this is probably from the early 2000s um, certainly I, I, I reckon it came out before Die Hard 4 did but judging by these um, cases I remember these being around in the uh, the early um, the early 2000s um, so yeah it's Die Hard uh, Die Hard 2 and Die Hard with a Vengeance um, with these quite shiny uh, metallic looking covers inside that uh, refract the light in such an awkward way to film the, it's just these cases that I really like so you've got the the main feature disc there the slip inside and then on the other side you've got I guess is the special features I just like these the way these cases work. You've got a sort of door on the front for one disc and a door on the back of the other disc. So I was happy to uh, to grab that for two pound fifty. Very pleased. Anyway, I'm going to cut here quickly and tidy up, and then we'll go through these last four items that uh, I've picked up over the rest of the month. <laughs> so I haven't picked up much at all. All right, so this first one um, is the parcel I picked up this afternoon on the way home from uh, the Amazon locker. Um, I knew it was going to be too big to go through my letterbox and I didn't know for sure whether I was going to be home or not when it arrived. Uh, but this one's a big thanks to uh, to Roy Barrett who posted this on uh, the Movie Mad page on Facebook on Friday, I think. Uh, or maybe Thursday, Friday. No, it was... It was yeah, it was Friday because it was just the start, I believe, of the bank holiday weekend. Um, but anyway, um, it came in this box. That, this box looks to me as if it's been designed to crush. Which, there's no rigidity to it at all. It's like it was deliberately made to just to flatten under any kind of pressure and weight. Which defeats the object of putting something in a box, I think. I mean, yeah, this this is sent a bit sturdier, but what's the point when that? Just a little bit of pressure. Um, now, what's in it, hopefully, uh, will be more difficult than the previous things I've bought to actually damage. Um, doesn't like this, doesn't like there's a pull tab on this. Um, is there? There is. Not that these things ever work properly. Oh, I think that's the first time I've ever got one of those off in one piece without it uh, breaking or tearing. So. So what we have is Species Complete Collection from 88 Films. So this was on, uh, on offer for, I believe it was 22 99 which sounds a lot of money, but I I believe this was originally up at about £35, maybe 30 but I think £35, so it's a decent uh, price drop. Um, this came out, was it late last year or early this year? I'm not sure. Um, I don't think it's sold out yet. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to get this in the collection. It's one more of their uh, movie box sets that they've done over the last few years. Um, that I needed. I think it's only the Anaconda one now that uh, I still need to get. Um, so yeah, very pleased. I hear that most of these movies are trash. I've only ever seen the first one. I saw that in the cinema. 
um, way back in the day. So yeah, two, three, and four. I have never seen. I uh, look forward to giving them a go at some point. Anyway, um, so earlier on in the month, uh, found this on eBay. I don't pick up HD DVDs that often these days because it's very rarely I see any at a decent price at least that I don't have. But this one I didn't have and it was less than a fiver. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, but this is actually a UK release. Um, it's a BBC uh, Opus Arts. Um, I'm going to say this is an opera. I'm sure that's uh, it, it's an opera. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I've got a few others of these on HD DVD. This one I didn't own. So uh, yeah, I uh, grabbed it. So another one to add to the DVD collection. Um, this next one I pre-ordered, I think back in March. It might have been April, but I, I want to say March. Um, and right up until the day it was sent, I, I they, they gave they gave no details on the website of when the because it was on pre-order of when the uh, film was being released. Um, but it is an Australian release of. Spider-Man No Way Home 3D. Um, as far as I can gather, there's only one place that you can buy this. And it's still showing even now as pre-order on their website. Um, it's uh, Random Space, the, the, they call the website. Um, and I got the... Uh, notification or early on the Friday morning it was a couple of weeks ago um, it was about 3am on the Friday morning um, I was working the night shift so I, I was actually awake at the time when uh, the email came through to say it, would, it had been dispatched so I'm thinking oh, coming from Australia it's going to be a week maybe two um, it arrived on Saturday morning in a uh, uh, um, a little cardboard rate mailer, very similar to the one that's, that, that that came out of, but a thinner one. Um, looked like it had been packaged by Amazon. Um, uh, so somehow they must have had Amazon uh, drop shipping these. I don't know how or why, um, but I'm not complaining. I got it in pretty much 36 hours from, from them notifying me it had been dispatched. To me receiving it was give or take an hour. 36 hours and the 3d in this was pretty damn good i was very pleased the movie was great i really enjoyed the movie um, the two disc blu-ray and 3d uh very plain blue disc which most marvel blu-rays are these days but yeah really happy to have uh, added that to the collection um so another Marvel 3D. Unfortunately, all the ones that I need now, um, everything from uh, Far From Home, I've got. Um, so I think it's Black Widow onwards. Um, so Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals, and the new Doctor Strange are all... Um, exclusive to Japan and they are hella expensive you're talking just to get it shipped from Japan um, including buying it is somewhere in the region of 60 70 pounds each which um, I can't justify that even for a movie that I really really like and most of those movies I don't really really like one of those movies I really really didn't like um, I, I, I can't justify paying that kind of money for for a 3D movie that's, well, two of them at least I already own on standard Blu-ray. Um, yeah, that's it's just too much. And I think the only reason why this one isn't limited to Japan is uh, it's not an actually a, 
a Marvel movie. This is obviously a, a Sony release, like all the other Spider-Man. But all the, the Disney Marvel movies, for reasons I don't know, are all uh, on 3D at least, exclusive to the Japanese market. And I can only find them on Amazon. And like I say, they're very expensive. So uh, unless somehow I manage to find one um, very cheap on eBay, um, it's doubtful I'll be getting any of those anytime soon. Uh, and then finally, a Aaron release that I bought cheap on eBay a couple of weeks ago, um, Trapped Alive. This one coming with the booklet, of course. I'm trying not to buy these. Um, if uh, if where, wherever possible without a booklet, um, sometimes they're not released with a booklet, um, especially if they've had a limited edition release in a box set first. Um, when they come to the second release, which is in this, you know, their, their standard uh, clear Blu-ray case, um, some new releases have they've stopped putting a booklet in. The release if they've had a limited limited edition release first, not always, but sometimes. So uh, yeah, this was actually less than six pounds. Uh, that included postage, so I'm very pleased to grab that. So there we go. That was a long video. Um, so yeah, a decent haul today. I think that's probably my first haul of this size, at least since June. Um, although I, I, I pickups that day of uh, of the last proper pickups video that I did for uh, that day, I think it was the back end of June, might have been early July, but I think it was the back end of June. Um, I don't think I grabbed anything close to what I've got here today, um, not including obviously the uh, the rest of the month's pickups. I mean, I, I guess I did grab those um, those few Blu-rays from. Uh, Poundland right at the beginning of August but other than that it's only those four uh, those four that I've grabbed that I've bought online this month either from Amazon or eBay but all of that rest of that is in the wild today I did intend on going to the car boot sale this morning Stokes the car boot sale is a bank holiday only car boot sale, they only do it four times a year. Um, but when I got up this morning, it was quite drizzly, and I thought I'm not traipsing around a field, a muddy field, um, in the drizzle. Um, I would imagine it would have put a lot of sellers off as well. So, yeah, I decided to give that a miss and go into town instead. My intention probably was to go to town today anyway, just because I wanted that Johnny mnemonic. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Um, so once again, thanks very much for watching. Um, I have no, how, no idea how long this video is. This, this segment is 11, nearly 12 minutes and the video did cut at some point. So I reckon we're looking at a 20 minute plus video, but it is what it is, I suppose. Anyway, like I said, thanks very much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.